Welcome back to the news at 10. Uh, just before we go on to sports news, I'd like to apologize for the mix up in the names of Mr. Deji Oshibogun and Mr. Kunle Olajide in our early reports on Southwest leaders meeting in Ikiti State. The error is highly regretted. Once again, we'd like to apologize for the mix up in the names of Mr. Deji Oshibogun and Mr. Kunle Olajide in our early reports on the Southwest leaders meeting in Ikiti State. Brazil this evening settled for a point from their opening clash of the World Cup after being pegged back by Switzerland in Group E. Felipe Coutinho curled home a wicked effort from 20 yards as the South Americans made a flying start, but Steven Zuber headed home from a corner to equalize after the restart. The result means the Serbia, that Serbia, lead Group E with three points. Brazil and Switzerland have a, a point each, and Costa Rica is bottom of the group with no point. Mexico have recorded the first shock winner of the 2018 World Cup as Irving Lozano's strike earned a deserved victory over reigning champions Germany. Mexico took the lead when PS PSV Eindhoven's Lozano cut inside Arsenal's Mesut Ozil before firing low past Manuel Neuer. The result means Germany are the third champions in succession following Italy and Spain to start their defence with a defeat. Earlier, Alexander Kolaryov produced a moment of captain's inspiration curling home a superb free kick as Serbia got their World Cup Group E campaign up and running with a 1-0 victory over Costa Rica. In the meantime, Tunisia coach Nabil Malou says his side will be pushing for an upset against the three Lions of England in their opening game, G on Monday. Coach Malul would like his Eagles of Carthage to cut attacking midfielder Dele Ali off from his Spurs companion and England team captain striker Harry Kane. Gareth Southgate's team has shown improvement since England's humiliating defeat by Iceland at Euro 2016 and Malul believes the team in Russia is even better than the class of 1998 which included David Beckham and Michael Owen. In four previous appearances Tunisia have won only one game at the World Cup. Away from uh, football, Roger Federer celebrated his return to the top of the world rankings by beating Milos Raonic 6-4, 7-6 earlier today to win the Stuttgart Open. The Swiss playing his first tournament since March after skipping the play court season beat Kalina Milos Raonic for his 98th career title. His run to the final in Germany ensured the usurped previous world number one Rafael Nadal at the top of the ATP rankings. And if he wins in Halle next week, a traditional Federer stronghold, he will arrive at Wimbledon in July, looking for his 100th title on tour. The win was Federer's third title of 2018, his 18th on grass, and puts him on the verge of a century of crowns. The Afghan Taliban are refusing to extend a three-day ceasefire in honor of the Muslim Eid celebration. According to a spokesperson, the truce ends tonight, though government officials have urged militants not to return to fighting, as dozens of unnamed Taliban exchanged Eid greetings with soldiers and civilians. The militants said there would be no extension to the ceasefire and fighters would be expected to leave government-controlled areas before sunset. The Taliban says their ceasefire has been to enable ordinary Afghans to enjoy a peaceful Eid and not to please the government. No fewer than 22 people were injured when two men opened fire on an all-night arts festival in Trenton, New Jersey. One of the suspects, a 33-year-old man, was shot dead and another is in custody. Police had initially put the injured toll at 20 but raised it after two more victims arrived at local hospitals. They've yet to figure out motive for the attack and several weapons were said to have been found at the scene. 
The Trenton Art All Night Festival, in its 12th year, raises money for local artists. It began on Saturday afternoon and was due to, re to run until Sunday afternoon. It's now been cancelled. And the main news again. Controversy continues to trail the Borno twin explosions which killed 20 persons and left 48 others injured. The Oyo State Governor has praised the efforts by the APC government in handling the various security challenges in the country. He however admits that more still needs to be done. Minister for, of Information Lai Mohammed says the current administration is transforming the lives of Nigerians positively. An Afghan Taliban have rejected calls to extend a three-day ceasefire declared for the Muslim Eid Festival. That is the news at 10 tonight. Thank you for watching. I am Amarachi Bani. Good night.